Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial, a comparison of using Iron PDF versus iText 7. So let's start with iText 7. Here are the required libraries installed for using iText 7 in our projects. We've installed the iText 7 library and its add-on iText7.pdf uh, HTML for converting HTML to PDF conveniently. So let's close the NuGet bar and move to the code file. So here at first I import the iText 7 HTML to PDF library for use in the code file. After that I use the file stream object to open the HTML file by giving its path as a parameter. So let's see what's in the HTML file exactly. Here is the content in the HTML file and it has a lot of code and is linked with multiple JavaScript and CSS files. It's the source code of a stack overflow page. So let's run the HTML file and see exactly what it looks like. Here's the output of the HTML file. It has a lot of content um, on the web page, such as search fields, multiple button headings, and a lot more. So after selecting the HTML file, I create the file with the output file name, and I set the file mode to create. After that, I set the converter properties and use the function convert to PDF. In the parameter, I assign the HTML file source and the PDF destination where the output file will be saved. So let's go ahead and run the project and wait for the process to complete. All right, it's completed. And let's see the output file. So this is the output file that is generated by the iText 7. Its UI is completely messed up, and the CSS has not been applied to it correctly. As you can see, iText 7 failed to render the CSS and other files associated with the HTML file. No font and layout settings have been applied to the file. iText 7 didn't wait for the CSS files to load and rendered only the HTML. Um, so it just looks terrible. So let's see the, uh, the code for the Iron PDF library. So this is the uh, project file for the Iron PDF. We've installed the library already, as you can see. Um, but if you haven't installed it, you can do so using the NuGet package manager in Visual Studio. So let's see the code for the Iron PDF. At first, I import the Iron PDF library. After that, I initiate the Chrome PDF render object for rendering PDF. On line number eight, you can see I set the PDF file with the name output.pdf. So let's run the project, wait for the process to complete. All right, process complete. Now let's see the PDF output file. And this is the output file generated by the Iron PDF, and it looks perfect. Everything is rendered perfectly, all buttons, sidebars, and you can see all the text fields are editable, and you can write anything in them. JavaScript is loaded perfectly and works very well. So in comparison to iText 7, Iron PDF did an amazing job. Uh, you can see iText 7 failed to load the CSS files and other associated files, but Iron PDF loads and prints exactly what was required. All right, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And as always, if you have any further questions, our support team is standing by ready to assist.